A little bit of music news here from a familiar character to the Cassius Morris show. Gene Simmons has vowed to never work with Vinnie Vincent again. He was asked in an interview with the Aquarian Weekly if he would ever work with him. And Gene just simply said, no, no. He's a very talented guy. Everybody's got their troubles in life. You can't fix everything. I'm a big supporter of his talent, but I don't need more dark clouds over my life. It's nice and calm. And then he continues, when you use drugs and alcohol and other bullshit things, it's everybody else's fault. You're always the victim. You never take charge of your situation, and I'm sick of it. I don't tolerate any of that. Look, man, I understand Gene's position. This is just my thoughts on it. I understand what he means about Vinnie Vincent. I've asked Gene about past people in his life that he no longer wants to associate with, and his answer to me personally was along the same lines. Uh, Gene is simply at a position in his life right now uh, where he feels like he has a lot of free time. He feels like sort of the, the dust is settling and the clouds are clearing, and he just has nothing but a straight road ahead of him. And I think Gene is focusing a lot on at least trying to be positive, and as he says, only keep positive things in his life. Vinnie Vincent is associated with a lot of different thoughts and ideas. I don't think Vinnie Vincent has ever really been associated with positivity. That's that's definitely not one of the things uh, Vinnie Vincent is synonymous for, being positive. Is Gene right about him being a great talent? Sure. He played some kick-ass licks, licks that I could never even dream of playing right now uh, at my level of guitar playing. On these Kiss records, he helped write some fantastic Kiss songs while he was in the band and after he left the band. Nobody's taking away from what Vinnie did, from what Vinnie Vincent did for Kiss. But if you're asking me personally, I think that's where the fascination around Vinnie Vincent needs to end. Vinny, once he decided to stop his solo career and leave the public eye, he did so for a reason. Not because he wanted to be followed. Not because he wanted to be investigated. If Vinny wanted to be followed, he would have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and be out there. Is he getting back out there doing the Atlanta Kiss Expo? Yes, he is. And that's cool. That's his decision. Obviously, a way to go make some quick money. But I don't understand this whole fascination with Vinny Vincent. And I can guarantee you that that's why he's doing this. Because all these people who I sympathize with, who are fascinated in him, who think he's some kind of weird, strange, enigmatic figure uh, that he's been built up to be, are shelling out their hard money to go meet him and constantly asking the band about him. Uh, When to me, he's just a blip on the radar of what KISS has been for the past 43 years, and he's probably just a guy who's really not that interesting. All these people devoting their lives to finding Vinny Vincent, a lot of them contact me since I did a big, you know, expose episode on Vinny. Uh, I really think you guys are wasting your time. Uh, I, I, Whether he's hard to find or not doesn't really matter. I think when you do find him, he's going to be sitting in his apartment, eating pizza, drinking a beer with his shirt off, uh, thinking about the next way to take money out of your pocket.